Alright, so here we are with part 14 of Super Mario Sunshine. Today we're continuing with more of Noki Bay. Um, I don't really know where the heck I'm going right now. Like, what the heck? Okay, so we're starting up episode 2, where last video we got the secret shine, or one of the secret shines in this level. Um, yeah, a bit of an earthquake because we're creating platforms and stuff, so, you know, like... Let's just go over here for a moment and do some wall kicks. Yep, head in here maybe. I would think. Maybe not. Oh wait, yeah. I think there's a blue coin over here that you can get. Yeah. Let's grab that. And don't fall off like I did. Well, you could probably, yeah, just use that as a platform and make your way back. Alright, come on, Mario. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's also a blue coin over there, but I missed it. Darn it. Try this again. <clears throat> so we're just gonna make our way back over here. Alright. Alright, so yeah, don't lose any health like I did. <clears throat> Create that platform and then Alright. Yep, so just keep wall kicking. I don't know if I was trying to go for that one little door over there or what. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, because I was trying to get the, the blue coin. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm actually... If I was trying to go for the secret shine, or, or the 100 coin shine, or what. Alright, but whatever the case, I think that's it for the blue coin. So let's go and get the star we were intending to get. Switch over to the regular nozzle, get rid of that M, and grab a, another blue coin. Yeah, I don't think I end up getting... Yeah, I don't get the 100 <clears throat> uh, coin shine. I think most of this I just focus on getting um, blue coins in this level. Yeah, I think I have to wait until all the platforms disappear before I can reactivate it again. Which is kind of bullshit. Oh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so let's make our second attempt. Yeah, don't do that. Um... There we go. So there's the blue coin. Yeah, don't do that. Now, oh great, now we gotta wait. Alright, well, we got a few coins there. <clears throat> Yeah, at this point, I probably should have just tried to go for the 100 coin shine, but I didn't. 
Yeah, especially with the amount of coins I collected, I definitely should have just went for the 100 coin shine. But the hard part it w would have been was trying to get up there. Because look at how annoying wall kicking is. It's like, it's so freaking stupid. It's like, I can't wall kick without falling off the stinking platform. Alright. Yeah, I didn't really bother with those other coins since, yeah, I'm not really going to go for the 100 coin shine. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I get 100 coins in each of the um, levels. I think it was only a few of them that I, that I did that on. I'm trying to find a way to fight it. But because this bastard takes multiple different hits, it's like, yeah. So yep, Cooper Blooper pretty much makes yet another appearance, but in this case I guess he's a mini boss. this guy but it's like oh my gosh come on Mario there we go so yep just get rid of him and then and then we can make our way down below So with that, that's pretty much the the third, second episode, I think, of of uh, Noki Bay. So next, we got episode three coming up. Alright, so let's get into this. <clears throat> Red coins in a bottle. Uh... I don't really, can't say for certain that this is my favorite red coin mission, but, yeah. Um, the pollution is not, that's not even the solution to the, the ocean problem. What? What? How is collecting red coins so supposed to solve the problem with the the pollution? Yeah, if you don't really know what's going on, um, basically Noki Bay's been flooded with some kind of pollution, and so we're trying to, like, basically figure out the cause of it, but this is not the cause, and damn, Mario, are you trying to have some kind of seizure or something? Like, jeez. Like, holy crap. Motherfucker is, like, literally having a seizure right now. Like, come on, dude. Get the damn red coin for frick's sake. It's like literally, I can't even land land on it. It's like really, did they really put that close to the glass? Bro. <laughs> okay, yeah, break free from that guy. Yeah, I decided to just skip that red coin for a moment and just moved on to the ones down below since I was in the process of dying. Yeah, I had no idea what was wrong with that red coin, why I couldn't get it. Yeah, I think I saw another one on the ground somewhere. Yeah, like right over here. It's like, dude, why am I having to hover up so dang high? Yeah, the worst part about it was using the, the hover nozzle wasn't helping at all. In fact, I feel like it was just making it worse.
It's like, dude, why are all these freaking fish after me? Like, holy crap. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to let go of these guys, because the game doesn't usually tell you what button you have to press to break free from those guys. It's like they expect you to figure that out on your own. You know, typical Nintendo. Alright, come on, Mario. We gotta find more of those... Those red coins. And it's so stupid that it doesn't give you a way to just dive into it, either. Okay, come on. I know I can get this. It's like, I'm so close to getting it, and the problem is, these stupid fucking fish keep getting in the way. But yeah, I, I honestly hate this red coin mission with the passion. Like, I'm not even kidding. Even as I look back and watch this footage, it's like... This, this level, like, insanely pisses me off. And I think if I remember correctly, I was actually getting really pissed off at this level because I kept fucking missing that s that one stupid red coin. It was like, I was getting all the other ones no problem, yet I kept missing the other ones. It's like, dude, I can't even begin to comprehend how I'm having this much trouble getting just one fucking red coin. Like, dude... Like, obviously, there's some kind of bug that's been going on that really needs to be fixed. Okay, well, there we go, finally. Yeah, see? I finally get that red coin after, like, so many failed attempts. Like, I'm sorry. That That is, like, in my opinion, the worst, probably one of the worst red coin levels in, in Noki Bay, at least. Not in the entire game. I mean... Uh, picking between what the worst red coin in this entire game is, it's a tough decision. Because there's a lot of red coin missions that I do not find my favorite. But there is actually another one later in, in Noki Bay that I actually find to be a lot more easier than that one that you saw. Yeah, it's like easier and it, it doesn't really have to take so dang long if, if you know how to do it. Why do I have to wear this anyways? It's like, I'm still going to keep losing health even when I'm underwater. It's like, dude, what good does that even do? Like, the way I look at it, it doesn't do shit. If it's to help stop me from losing health, that would be one thing, you know? Like, again, I don't see how wearing something as... An oxygen um, helmet or whatever is supposed to help. If this was like Zelda Ocarina of Time where I wouldn't actually be losing any health from from drowning underwater. Like if it was like Ocarina of Time where I had like that Zora tunic or whatever. And I could just breathe underwater without any problems. Then cool. But it's like, bro, this ain't no Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, that little block that you saw, that's um, where one of the red coins is. Yeah, that little water-looking block. Or not red coin, the blue coin. I forget if I end up showing that or not. But, we'll see. So, yep, yeah, we have a boss fight underwater. Basically, I have 20 lives now. I'm actually finally starting to make some progress with the 1-ups, but not by much. I mean, I only gained up 5 more lives than previously. Most of the time, 15 lives was like the closest thing I could maintain. So what do we have to do in this fight against this annoying eel? Well, you're about to find out here in a second. Yeah, don't touch those purple bubbles. Basically, yep, he's got his teeth are all... All gunk, gunked up or some shit. Basically, it's got a bunch of that purple crap on it and you have to spray it off and... 
Honestly, this may actually look easy, but the truth is it's a lot difficult than it looks. But yeah, all you're doing in this fight is just doing something about his about his pur purple teeth, trying to clean him out, and then that pretty much solves the problem. But, of course, I have to replenish my health since, you know, I keep losing so many, so many pieces of my health. Okay, there's another one cleaned up. So I think he's got about maybe four more teeth left to clean. Yeah. Should have went for the one on the left, but, you know, honestly... Oh, wait, no, I think I'm about to. Or maybe not. Nope. Yep, he goes right back down. Come on, motherfucker, let's go. Rise back to the surface, bitch. Gotta, gotta clean your motherfucking teeth out. Yeah, I had to go back and replenish my health yet again. Alright, come on, Mario. Yeah, I didn't get that coin since I figured, you know what, there's no way I'm going to be able to replenish my health all the way. See, it doesn't really always help when he's trying to swallow you up. Huh. Yeah. Kind of bullshit, but yeah. Alright, well, let's try our second attempt. Or maybe not, since, you know, I keep... I'm still losing more health than I should be. Alright. Bro, are you gonna make your way up to the top or what? Like, oh man, oh man, it's really not much to say about this fight. All, all you gotta do is just clean his teeth out, and then it's pretty much the end. The ones on the edge, I'm starting to notice. Yeah, those seem to be like the really tricky ones. I don't know why. Oh, yep, yeah, there goes another one. And it's like, this angle is so stupid, because it's like, I literally am, it's like I land a few hits on that, like on that one teeth, and one tooth, and it's like, fucking, fucking game doesn't want to fucking register that. There we go. Sure thing, Flood. Ow. Oh, jeez. Alright, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that. For that fight. Yep, not really having to do much any of that defeating or nothing, so yeah. And the shine's just right down there. 
Yeah, I think the reason I didn't go for the, um... Oh, that's right, no. The reason I didn't go for the, um... The 100 coin shine is because there's actually an easier one later down the line that you can take on. So I think for this level, yes, I do show the 100 coin shine for sure. Because I do remember there being a really, really simple and easy one. Yeah, some of these levels, like, you might find that some of these levels do have very easy 100 coin shines that you can take on. Yep. Get to fight... I get to race this guy a second time. Now, actually, I just happened to remember that this guy that you're racing with, who was in the Gelato Beach level, um, he was actually, um, he was actually, he actually makes one more appearance after this. I think I ended up screwing this up or something, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Okay. Awesome. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! Oh, that was like your worst mistake right there. Freaking swimming, bro, really? Yeah, not smart, dude. Like, come on. Why would you do something like that? Yeah, there was a blue coin over there that I missed. I forget if I ever show that or not. But, whatever the case, we got ourselves yet another shine. Alright. Um, unfortunately for this one, I actually had to split this into two parts, so, yeah. Yeah, I was adjusting the volume on my TV. Um, so, yeah, I kind of just had a debate if I should just stop the post-recording here and just let the rest of the video just be three to four minutes of no commentary, or, I don't know. Basically, all I end, mostly what I end up doing is I do show me getting like up to the top to where the secret is and all that stuff. But as far as actually me um, getting all the, yeah, as far as me actually getting the secret shine, no, I don't. Or as far as me getting this this shine, yeah, I ended up showing that in the next video. All right, um, I don't know, maybe what I'll do is, like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just keep commentating here, and then when we, when I get to the entrance, I'll probably just stop the, the post-recording from there. Yeah, because there's just really no need for me to commentate really any further, since this ends up being split into two different parts. Okay. Yeah, I was going to try to see if I can get up there from here, but no, it looks like you got to find another way up. Or at least somehow you have to. Yeah, I tried making my way up there, but for some reason that didn't work out. Yep, I don't really know why that happened. Why I took that hit. So, yep. <clears throat> I'm basically just having to find a way to get up to the top. I mean, I probably could have done a lot of these cuts, but I decided not to. So, yeah, I guess... I think this is actually where you need to go. If I remember correctly.
Yep, just keep making your way up here. Alright, come on, Mario. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm actually way too high up. But, this actually helps because then I can use the hover nozzle and then... Okay, yeah, don't, don't almost fall off like I did. So, yeah, basically... I don't really know what else there is to say. So, yeah, basically, I think, yeah, I'm going to end the post-recording here. So, um, next video, we'll actually continue more of this secret shine. Um, so, until then, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 signing out, and I will see you guys in part 15 of more motherfucking failures of motherfucking awesomeness.